Good morning, MHS. I'm Hannah. And I'm Caitlin. Today is Friday, October 17th, day four. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention seniors, all seniors who pay their class dues in full by Friday, October 31st, Halloween, will be entered to win a pair of Red Sox tickets. Dues are $10 each year. Please see Mr. DiBenedetto or Mrs. Martin for payment. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, please pay your class dues to your class advisor. They are $10 each year. The Thistle is Melrose High's literary magazine that publishes stories, poems, artwork, and any other type of writing. Submit your work to room 328 or email them at thistle1415 at gmail.com. The Community Service Alliance is providing community service opportunities for every member. Some opportunities include food drives, crafts with kids, volunteering at soup kitchens, and going on building trips with Habitats for Humanity. If any of these things interest you, please come to our next meeting on Tuesday before school in room 120 at 7.15 a.m. and send an email to joelandry2 at yahoo.com. Attention new STEM pathway participants. Interviews will be conducted in the Resource Center on the date you signed up for. If you have not yet signed up for an interview, you will be able to sign up for one at our next meeting on October 30th. In the chain of life, every member of MHS, both faculty and students, will sign their name on a strip of paper. The strips will then be looped together to create one long chain, symbolizing the importance of the unity of MHS in the effort to end the underage drinking, impaired driving, and other destructive decisions. It is called the chain of life, and bad decisions can put your life or the lives of others at risk. These bad decisions can break the chain. Don't break the chain. Make good decisions. Animal fun fact brought to you by the Animal Rights Club. When hunting, Komodo dragons rely on camouflage and patience, lying in wait for passing prey. When a victim ambles by, the dragon springs using its powerful legs, sharp claws, and serrated shark-like teeth to eviscerate its prey. Animals that escape the claws of a Komodo dragon will only feel lucky for a brief moment. Dragon saliva teems with over 50 strains of bacteria, and within 24 hours, the stricken creature usually dies of blood poisoning. It's all night. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Our boys cross country team defeated Wakefield 19 to 36, improving their record to six wins and no losses. Our girls cross country team bowed to Wakefield, however, posting a 4-2 record thus far. Football is 3-2 in the Freedom Division and will host Wilmington tonight at 7 p.m. at Fred Green. All seniors will be recognized prior to kickoff. Volleyball defeated Stoneham yesterday during league play, improving their overall record to 16 to one. Girls Swim continues their record-breaking season. Girls Soccer is 4-2 in the Freedom Division. Saturday, October 18th, Girls Soccer will host Burlington at 7 p.m. at Fred Green. Saturday is also senior night for the girls team. Boys Soccer bowed to Wilmington last night and will travel to Burlington Saturday for a 6 o'clock game. New in theaters this week, Fury and the Book of Life. Last week's top films still in theaters are Gone Girl, Dracula Untold, and Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And weather today is partly cloudy with a high of 72. Saturday is mostly sunny with a high of 72. Sunday is partly cloudy with a high of 52. For everyone here in the studio, I'm Hannah Jordo. And I'm Caitlin Carney. You have a great day, MHS.